We're now on the overview page, looking at the gallery of thumbnails of all projects that are currently active in F-Track. We can see the name of the project, the project code, the workflow we're using, as well as start and end dates of the project. The coloured circle represents the project colour. We'll see in a later video how this can be used to quickly locate items belonging to a specific project. To get more information about the project, I can click on the name to open the sidebar. If we click on the icon up here, we'll see the same information but in a list view. In the list view, it's possible to customise what attributes we're looking at. To add or remove an attribute from this view, click on the Attributes menu and select the attribute. We want to add the customer attribute to this view, so let's click on it. We can click on the column header to rearrange it. F-Track will automatically remember this change so the next time we visit this page it will look exactly the same. The projects we're looking at are all active. The reason for this is we've filtered out all hidden projects. Up to the right you can see that we have one filter active. Let's open the filter panel and change that. We want to see all our projects so let's change the filter to any. As you can see, all projects are now visible. From here, we can add our own filters to narrow down only on those projects that are interesting to us. We now want to create a new project. To do this, we click on the plus icon in the top right corner. Then click Create Project. Note that only users with permissions to create projects will see this option. In the Create Project dialog, we can give our project a name. Let's call it Treasure Island. The workflow will determine which type of objects that we can create in the project, what status and types there are. Let's choose a design workflow. One point to remember is that it's important to pick the right workflow for your project, since you won't be able to change it later. We're happy with the start date, but we'll change the end date of the project. Before creating it, let's give it a nice thumbnail. and change to a nice fresh blue colour for the project. When we click Create, the project will be created for us and we can decide if we want to go directly to the project or stay on this page. In the next video, we'll cover project timelines and planning events.